What's up guys, Mike at Red Fox here. Before me, 3060 Ti. Let's get this thing open and hashing. Lucky enough to get this on Newegg on day one. Uh, I didn't use a bot or anything, I was just super lucky. So let's see what we got in here, huh? knife is super dull okay all right let's go let's see what we got final cut here all right some packaging and there it is Gigabyte Eagle. So this card is the MSRP card at $399, uh, which is should be fine for mining. I don't need any factory OCs. I guess my only concern is making sure that the memory is sufficiently cooled. I know that's been an issue on a lot of the higher end 3000 series cards. Let's see what we got. I mean, yeah, it's a box. All right. Looks good. Let's get this open. Right. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Close one. Calm down. All right. There she is. Um, I really actually like the design of these cards. I have quite a few gigabytes in there. And they're kind of looked down upon in the mining community, but I've really I've never had a problem. I had a, I've had an RMA more EVGA cards than gigabyte cards. Come on. It's actually a pretty big card. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is definitely not the prettiest unboxing you've ever seen. All right, let's see. It's pretty sick. Let's do the old stand up GPU look. There she is. Get a nice look. So we got a single eight pin, which is awesome. Dual fan. What do we got here? We got two display ports, two HDMIs. I actually really like the colors. I like the design of this car. Not not that it really matters because it's going to be in the mines, but. It's all plastic. Looks like a plastic back plate. Nothing too fancy here. This is the MSRP card. So there she is, guys. Alright, let's do one of the one more stand-up shot. Get a nice shot of this guy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get it plugged into the test bench here. And we'll start with some Ethereum. That's probably where I'll stop today and then I'll test some other algorithms uh, throughout the week and upload some videos. But yeah, not a bad looking card. All right, so give me one second. I'm gonna shut this down, get the 1080 off there, get this in, and we'll do some, uh, some Ethereum and mess with some overclocks. All right, guys, we got the Gigabyte Eagle RTX 3060 Ti installed in the test bench. You can see what our idle wattage is, a little over 30 watts. We got Windows picked up 3060 Ti and Device Manager with uh, installed all the drivers, and we got it picked up in Afterburner running all stock clocks. So we got card installed, drivers updated, and uh, we're gonna give this a go with Phoenix Miner. Uh, mining on Ethermine. So here we go, we're gonna monitor that wattage and we're gonna monitor our hash rate using stock clocks on here. So here we go, building the DAG right now. 
And there we started, 52 mega hash. See, we're using almost a little under 200 watts. Obviously, we're running this stock. There it is, 190 watts. NVIDIA is really good as far as being accurate with what this says to what that says. So, 190 watts, 52 mega hash. And we got a share already, you can see there. All right, so let's mess around with overclocks a little bit and see what kind of performance we can get out of this card and then we're going to see what kind of efficiency we can get out of this card so the first thing you want to do when you're mining ethereum typically is get that core clock all the way down and you can see it it hasn't impacted our hash rate negatively sometimes you'll get a positive impact on it um, and the next thing we're going to do is start pump this memory clock up. So I'm gonna go with, let's see, let's see how this card does. We're gonna do 500 plus on the memory. And let's see where we go from there. So we're sitting at 52 mega hash. There we go, 53, got another share found. Still sitting around 200 watts. Let's see, just reported right there, 197. Up to 55, almost 56 mega hash. There we go, 56 at plus 500 on the memory, negative 502 on the core clock, and leaving the power at stock. 56 mega hash. Looking good for 56. All right, let's let's uh, let's see, we're gonna do 700. Let's do 700 on the memory. I'm not really sure what this card can take. It is the MSRP base model from Gigabyte, so I'm not really sure how far I'll be able to push this, but here we go, 57.3 mega hash. Still at around 200 watts. 57.5. Man, it's looking pretty good already. Okay, it's pretty stable at that, so let's go... 900. So 900 on the memory clock. See what we get here. Alright, we're at 57.9. There we go, 58.5. 900 on the memory. Power just hasn't moved. It's running pretty much full tilt right now. 59.1 mega hash. So I get stable there. Obviously, you're going to want to run this for much longer than I am, but I haven't got the miner to crash yet, so I think I have a little more room to go. Um, let's go up to 1100 on the memory clock. We were sitting at 59.1. Here we go, 59.6 mega hash per second. 200 watts. Oh, we just hit 60. 60.1, 60.7. thing has not even stuttered. There we go, another share accepted. The pool is accepting the work. And we're at, seeming stable at 60.7. Um, 1250 on the memory, let's do it. So we're at 60.7, running around 200 watts. 61, 61.6, I like you, you're good you, 61 and a half, all right, seems stable there, let's, let's see what else we can do, let's do 1350 on the memory. 62 mega hash. 62.3. 62.6. Seems stable there. Let's go 14. Almost maxed out here. 
plus 1400 on the memory. We're about to hit 63 mega hash. There it is, 63 mega hash at 200 watts. Seems stable there. I guess we'll just go all the way. 1500, plus 1500 on the memory. Doesn't go any higher. Let's see what we get. So we're at 63.3 mega hash. And um, I guess from here we'll start lowering the power limit and see how efficient we can make this thing. 63.6, 63.8 mega hash per second. 200 watts. Sixty-three point eight. Um, I think that's as. I mean, that is literally as far as afterburner goes. It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, if this sits stable here, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of tools we get afterwards. If that can be unlocked and pushed a little further. So, uh, I mean, sixty-three point. 87 mega hash is what I can get out of this card full power. Um, for 400 bucks, by the way. So let's start dialing this back. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to dial it back to, to 80. And this will definitely impact the power that we're using. You can see it's already dropping there. Um, but let's see what the hit on the hash rate is going to be. This is where we're really going to dial in some efficiency here. So we're sitting at 63.8. See, we're down to 190 there. So probably like 160. Yeah, there we are, 160. The hash rate has not moved. Wow. I mean, that's already great. Let's see what else we can take this down to. I guess we'll go down to 70. So we're at one. Oh, there we go. Just dropped another 20 watts. And the hash rate sitting at 63.8 and 140 watts. Damn, guys. Damn. I think... Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep dialing this in, but I think this is it. I think this is the one. I think this is the one, guys. I can't believe that hash has not even moved. All right, one. So we're at like 140 watts here. Um, let's see. Let's go down to uh, 65. Obviously, I'm going to fine-tune this big time off video and see what we get, but we just dropped, we should be at, what, 130 watts, probably now? Hash rate's dropping a little bit, all right, so that's okay. It's bound to happen as we find some efficiency here. So, 63.230 watts. That is, that is really good. That is really good. So my 5700 XTs will do about 57 mega hash at the same wattage. So we're talking six, seven more mega hash per second at the same power for, I mean, realistically the same price. And this is an NVIDIA card. What is happening? I mean, I'm, I'm really happy right there, but um, let's see. So that's... 63.2 at 130. Probably should have wrote this down. Didn't really think of that. Don't know what I'm doing. Let's go. Down to 60. Down to 150 system. So we should be sitting about right down 120. So we can see another share accepted. There it is, 120 watts. Hash dropped a little bit, 60.8, 60.4. Ooh, that's not good. So I might have to pull that memory down a little bit. So we got a, a bad share submitted. Could also be because I was just messing with the overclocks as we were going. 
I'll definitely make another uh, video or leave some comments once I get to tinker around with this a little bit more, but I wanted to give you guys a real good first impression as I, for the first time, get this card going and, and install it and get some first time hash rates. So we're sitting around 60 mega hash per second, right around 120 watts, 150 watts, full system. I'd love to see another share come through. And then obviously you always want to monitor your um, hash rate that's reported at the pool. So I'll definitely be doing that as I continue to mess with this card. And I'm also going to do a video just looking at all the new cards and um, the last generation cards and like really what is going to be the best bang for your buck and what is going to be the most efficient cards. You know, we're looking at uh, the, the rest of this year and into next year, even though some of them can be pretty hard to get. All right, come on, give me another share here. Overall, I am ex absolutely ecstatic for this card, for mining. Might have to pull down that memory clock a little bit. So we have not got another share. But we'll give it another second here. Sixty point five mega hash. There we go. There it is. Another share accepted by the pool. So we'll call it right now 60.5 mega hash per second. Run in 120 watts, which is accurate. Looking at the power meter here. So, hey, this card, here, here's my summary, guys. This is the card you want. As it stands right now, and I'll do some videos on this, but as it stands right now as making this video, if you're interested in mining Ethereum, this is your card, in my opinion. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging with me, getting a first look at the RTX 3060 Ti. This is the Gigabyte Eagle. Uh, first look at it mining Ethereum, getting some early impressions, uh, messing live with some overclock settings. But anyway, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video.